We have a really interesting question here from Jeff, who I mentioned earlier. And he wants to know what the best way to plot is so that you can draft more quickly slash efficiently. Yes, that is a brilliant question. So the best tip I can give is not to overthink your plot. And I don't say this because you don't need to come up with gripping plot twists and all those things, because you do have to do that. I say it because it doesn't matter how much you plot. There will always come a point where you deviate from your outline at some point during the novel. Now, this can be different for everyone. I think it's as you get to know your characters better, the thing that you originally planned for them to do doesn't necessarily then fit with the person that they become as the story moves on. So for me, I always get to the midpoint of the novel and something about that always forces me outside of my outline, which inevitably means that I have to discovery write the next quarter of the book up to the all is lost moment before going back and kind of reverse engineering that section of the book to make the new stuff fit and that might involve going right back to the start and adding other stuff in but yeah so when you write your outline as when you write your book don't aim for perfection because it will never be perfect all you're really doing when you outline is telling yourself a really condensed rough version of the story so that you can get started so the i think the main tips i can give to outline effectively are know that you're not going to be wedded to the outline and that it probably will change and also don't be scared to deviate from your outline. Don't think that because you've written something down, it's set in stone. Because the only time it's really set in stone is after you've published. And if you're an indie author, it's not really even set in stone then because you can always go back. 